Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. The more you heal, the less you'll feel. You know how we get our feelings hurt. And then you want to grow up and you want to be like him. You want to be like her. There's a whole lot of folks you want to be like because you want to be all that and a bag of chips. You're going to be all that and a bag of chips. Or will you spend your life just being a wannabe with an attitude and a chip on your shoulder because you ain't taking it? You know, one of my former pastors used to say, if you can take it, you can make it. Now, if you want to be all that in a bag of chips, and you're going to be all that in a bag of chips, and you want to be all that you can be in this life, there's a lot you're going to have to take. And it's how you deal with it that shows how the real you will be when you get grown really grown, when you mature, when you grow strong, hmm, as you develop into that individual that you were created to be. What were you created to be? Hmm? Were you created to be a duck or a swan? Were you created to be a turkey or an eagle? What were you created to be? You know, you can half step all your life. With your chip on your shoulder, you can nurture that little chip and pat it and kiss it every once in a while. Oh, yeah. Because you earn that chip. You got a few chips on your shoulder. You earned every one of them. You're tired of the way folks are treating you. You're tired of all the nonsense you had to take through life. Things people dished out at you that you did not deserve. You're angry. You're suspicious, you're cynical, hmm. sarcastic, aren't you? Go on, fess up. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Well, you know how to get rid of all that? Because, see, that stuff weighs you down. You ever watch a helium balloon? I'll tell you how to get rid of it in a minute. You ever watch a helium balloon? It's pretty watching them take off. Hot air balloon, helium balloon, all of that. You put too much weight on that bad boy, it ain't going too far. You take all the weights off, gone. Yeah, soaring, baby, flying high. They can't fly high with weights tied on them. How high do you want to fly? You want to climb and maintain. You want to climb and rise above the mess. Rise above the pressure, rise above the obstacles, rise above the attitudes, rise above them. Hmm. Yeah. You want to be all that in a bag of chips. You plan to be, don't you? You can't do it your way. You can't handle things your way. If you lean to your own understanding, you mess it up every time. If you jump the gun and make emotional decisions because of emotional crisis popping up here and there. You jack your life up and hold yourself back. And you will tear yourself and weigh yourself down. And all that you plan to accomplish, be in the wind. How far do you want to climb? How high do you want to soar? Don't put limits on your life because of your attitude. Don't put limits on your life because of what you ain't going to take. That's pride. You're not proving anything to anybody by standing up when you ought to be sitting down, by running your mouth when you ought to be silent. The Bible says be slow to speak, swift to hear. Forsake wrath. There's some things you need to just leave alone. Yeah, we got the right to be angry, but sin not. There are times to speak up, but God will tell you when. In the meantime, keep it to yourself. Now, here are some of the ways that you can get rid of all that mess. I hope I'm not losing my train of thought. But the way that that stuff stops bothering you, 
you must go to the master creator. You must go to him and say, I need you to take me back to the drawing board because I am messed up. Yeah, humble yourself enough to admit that. All of us are scarred. All of us are marred and all of us are floored. Go to him and ask him to heal your heart. Heal your mind. And remove and undo all the damage done from your childhood up. From the birth canal up. Guess what? He can. And if you hang with him, he will. He'll do a thorough job. And when you're healed from this, that, and the other, this, that, and the other will be no longer a part of your life. They'll have no more control. Resentment, spite, mm, bitterness, oh, it'll be gone in the wind. But you also must be willing and ask for help to do this now. You must be willing to forgive. That's the hard one. Are you willing? And if you're not, ask God to make you willing and give you the ability to forgive. Mm -hmm. Some things, some hurdles, some hang-ups, some idiosyncrasies, some setbacks, and some shortcomings will never go away. You'll never get delivered from it. You'll never get healed from it until you are ready to forgive. Makes no difference how wrong they are. The ones that did that to you, it makes no difference how wrong they were. What you're responsible for is not what they did to you. It's what you do to them. We are commanded, not requested. We are commanded to forgive. And you have to wait on God to forgive you as you're willing to forgive them. That is your key to healing. Your healing is your key to freedom and the ability to be all that and the bag of chips you plan to be. I'm going to keep this message simple. We're not going to complicate this. Number one, be willing to forgive. Number two, ask God to help you. Number three, Ask God to heal, cleanse, and deliver you. Number four, work with him. Handle things, handle obstacles, handle knuckleheads, mm -hmm. dingbats, and dummies. His way, not your way. Not your way, his way. Love through it. Forgive through it, pray through it, and release them. Don't hold it in your back pocket and refer to it every time you want something to be angry about. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ask God to cut your umbilical cord to your past. There's a song that says, fear not my child. And there's a sentence in that song that says, my child. Don't look behind. Discouragement is all you're going to find. Just keep your eyes on me. You want to really be free? Let me talk now. You want to really be free? There it is. I said, whoops, there it is. I said, whoops, there it is. Forgiveness, help. Healing, humility, hello, and cooperation, doing it God's way. God bless you. I hope that helped you out a little bit.
Because a lot of times we don't know how to get over stuff. One of the biggest ways, and I want to add these few little points, and then I'm done. Should take no more than 60 seconds. Make sure you confess to God how you really feel about what they did, said, or whatever, or didn't do or say. You tell God how you feel. I don't care if you hate the person. Tell God that. Then ask God, number two, remove how you feel. You don't need that. Ask God to remove it. Take it out. You angry? Take the anger out. You resentful? Take the resentful out. You bitter? Take the bitterness out. Take it out. Ask God to take it out. You don't need that in your heart. It eats like a canker, like cancer. All right. And it eats you up, not them. Right. Okay. Number two, ask God to enable you to forgive. You got to do, these are the keys I'm telling you. If you can't do anything else, ask God to take the hurt out, help you forgive. And number three, ask God to heal the hurt, heal you, calm your nerves, and restore your peace. God bless you. Makes life so much easier.